The plight of fishermen in the coastal county of Tana River paints the picture of an unexploited resource in Kenya over the years. The fishing methods practiced by locals are crude, with the boats limited. This translates to their poor earnings and inability to meet their needs. Their preparation and preservation methods are equally limited, exposing the fishermen to more losses of their very perishable commodity. This, coupled with a lack of facilitation, makes the fishing business in Kenya, especially for locals, unprofitable to say the least. Vyombo vya kufikia kule deep sea ni vichache. Kwa hivyo huwa wanakuja hapa shallow water. Samaki ambazo tunapata huwa haziwezi kukidhihaja sana. Uh, fishers work alone as lone groups and an attempt to organize them. It becomes difficult because there has been no proper organization. The local fishing groups in Tana River had decried uncontrolled fishing by foreign vessels that contributed to the depletion of the fish population. Their proof being the dead small fish that they find in the waters. They say the fish are thrown back in the water by large-scale fishers, a notion that Professor Micheni denies saying there could be environmental reasons that contribute to fish chaos, especially where tributaries drain the waters into larger water bodies. It is illegal to catch uh, fish smaller than prescribed by law. And I think it is a matter of time as we put our coasting guard in place, working with the fisheries, working with, with the police, working with everybody else, we will catch these persons. The Permanent Secretary says that it has been difficult to regulate fishing in the high seas owing to the lack of capacity to police the vast waters. 400 kilometers into the Indian Ocean makes up Kenya's territorial waters, which have in the past been treated as a desert region where foreign vessels would engage in illegal fishing. Right now it is not open for all. We catch you there without proper uh, licenses and authority. We will deal with you because you are criminal. The Blue Economy Conference expected to be held in Nairobi later this month will seek to increase opportunity in fishing and other water-related businesses. It is, however, unclear whether this will translate to benefits for fishing communities. Charity Mwangi, NTV.